Hey everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to go in and add ROMs to RetroPie through your Wi-Fi network, as opposed to inserting your micro SD card into a PC or Apple computer. A lot of people have been having trouble accessing their RetroPie game collection cards on PCs and Apple computers. A lot of times you just aren't able to open up the folders and files or, or have access to everything that's on there. Sometimes you'll see just a small portion of the files and folders that are on the card which makes for a really frustrating experience. So best way to do this, boot up your RetroPie game collection card on your regular Raspberry Pi, and we're gonna go into the configuration settings here. Now I'm using the RetroPie Guy 512 gigabyte game collection card here. So depending on which card you're using, which build you have, this may look a little bit different, but you will have access to a configuration settings page. It just may look different than right here. Typically it will have either a Raspberry Pi or RetroPie logo on it. So once you jump in here, you wanna to go to network tools. Now again, yours may look a little bit different than this. You may just have um, a basic list of options, but towards the bottom around Wi-Fi, you're gonna see an option that says, what is my IP? So if we go here and we click this, you're going to load in for a second here, and then it's gonna show you your IP address. Now I've gone and blocked this out just so my IP address isn't all over the internet. But you're going to basically just write down this IP address. This is going to be so you can access this through your Wi-Fi network. And there is another way to do this. I'm going to show you as well, but this is going to be the way that works 100% of the time. So write down this IP address. When you're done with that, you just click OK. You come back to your main menu here. And now you're going to go over to your regular PC or Apple computer. All right, so once we've jumped onto our regular PC or Apple computer, first thing you're gonna do is you are going to open up your files here. We're gonna to go to quick access here at the top. All right, so now once we're in quick access here, there's two ways we can go about doing this. Sometimes you can do backslash, backslash, and then just type in RetroPie and hit enter, and you're able to immediately access all of your um, RetroPie game collection card files and folders here. I have found that this doesn't work for my particular card that I'm using today. So I'd say that this works about 50% of the time. I've done the same process on a couple different cards, um, ones that I've made and ones that other people have made. And again, it works about 50% of the time. So if I go and hit enter here, it's not gonna work on this one, I already know that. So I'm gonna show you exactly um, what will happen. It'll say Windows cannot access uh, backslash backslash RetroPie, which is fine. So now I'm gonna show you the way that it works every single time. And this is definitely the more reliable way to do this. So you're gonna put in backslash backslash and then you're gonna enter in your IP address that you just pulled from your RetroPie game collection card. So we're gonna go ahead and type that in. Again, I'm going to be blocking this out just so it doesn't show up um, all over the internet here. So now it'll say enter network credentials and it'll confirm your IP address over here. So now as long as you have not gone in and changed anything on your card, your username is always going to be PI, PI, and your password is going to be Raspberry. So once you go ahead and confirm that, you'll see that now everything loads in here. So if you're looking for your ROM folders, boom, right here, double click on that. You have all of your ROMs available. You can see them all right here. So if I just go and I click on, let's say Amiga, double click, you'll see everything is listed right here. I can scroll down, see the uh, full list of ROMs in alphabetical order. So this is gonna be the easiest way to go and do this. Now, if you wanted to add in additional ROMs, you would just go and minimize this, let's say I'm adding an Amiga ROM. I just go to my desktop or wherever, you know, on my computer those are saved. And I could just go and drag them over, drop them right in here. And it's going to automatically add them in an alphabetical order. Just confirm that you're putting them in the right folder. You don't wanna go putting, you know, PlayStation games in an Amiga file or anything like that because it could cause some serious problems for your card. So just double check, triple check, whatever you need to do. Make sure you don't mess anything up. Make sure you don't delete anything by mistake. You know, you don't want to go in here and, um, you know, if you're in your ROMs or something like that and delete the wrong thing, you don't want to, you'd end up wiping out 
you know, huge collection. So definitely be super careful in here. Anytime you're going into your ROMs, you just want to make sure that you're not uh, misclicking or accidentally deleting anything because these images are tied together. You can easily do some irreversible damage if you delete something that you didn't intend to delete. So hopefully this video helps you out. Um, once you go ahead and make your adjustments, they'll automatically be on your game collection card. So you don't have to insert that into your PC or Apple computer. You don't have to do any of that. This is a really simple and super convenient way to um, make adjustments or add ROMs or remove ROMs, whatever you need to do in your game collection card. So that's going to do it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials like this gameplay demos. We have a whole bunch of content coming on virtual pinball machines. That's really cool. Uh, and then we talk about different um, questions and um, issues that have popped up with RetroPie. So we address all of that as well. So definitely a lot of great content on here. And of course, check us out on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.